Thanks everyone for joining. My name is Jason Dell. I'm the Security Practice Manager with Network Solutions. And today we're going to be talking about the Secure Access Service Edge. So to start off with, let's have a look at what the WAN topology has looked like for years, a typical WAN topology. Um, you got a corporate office, uh, central data center that provides access to the internet, a few branch offices with MPLS or leased line or fiber uh, and access to the internet via the data center. Uh, that's how the branch offices get internet access through the data center. And a few roaming users that access the data center via remote access VPN with direct internet access for web. So the security stack in this scenario is where most of the controls are located in the data center. You got your firewall, perhaps it's a next generation firewall, um, likely doing um, the VPN gateway as well. You'll have some content filtering, perhaps DNS security or a secure web gateway. Um, you might have your secure web gateway set up to inspect select SSL traffic. Uh, so with this model, about 80% of the traffic was internal traffic, uh, which is to and from you know, the central data center and about 20% of the traffic was internet traffic. So um, that's what we're, what we're turning into now is we're evolving into this newer WAN topology where the central data center may still be used for you know, core applications, but now there's a, an adoption of cloud applications, you know, software as a service or infrastructure as a service you may have chosen to swap out expensive MPLS or leased lines with site-to-site -site VPN for branch offices. And then with the situation, uh, COVID situation, we've had an explosion of small office, home office, and roaming users. So with this later model, though, um, with the cloud services, it's more like 80% of the traffic is going to the internet and 20% of the traffic is internal. So the opposite of how it was before. So this evolving WAN topology presents a number of network performance and security concerns. First, it's a performance bottleneck, you know, back hauling all or most of your traffic back to the data center before you can get to any of your internet or cloud resources. And people figured out that, you know, they have direct internet access and it's more efficient. Why use the VPN when your apps are in the cloud? So these places have simultaneous connectivity to unfiltered internet and multiple cloud services. Um, if you use your direct internet access, you're bypassing the data center and the security stack there. So this presents problems. We have lack of centralized policy management, lack of identity services, including identity verification, lack of machine compliance enforcement, the lack of Visibility to encrypted traffic. So encrypted traffic masks threats. Privacy versus security. Privacy, very important. Security, very important. Um, the lack of cloud policy enforcement, the lack of data loss prevention. Uh, and so this has really caused a lot of companies to implement of several siloed security tools that are difficult to manage as a whole. And so security, um, cyber threats are exploiting these security gaps. Okay, so you see here, there's a large percent of organizations that are starting to move towards a cloud first strategy. So how do we regain control of security? Secure Access Services Edge or SASE. So SASE is a Gardner defined term and some of the components include the following. Now get your acronym translation notebook out because we have a few more ready for you. Software defined wide area network. Well, before I get there, you can look on a number of sites and get a number of different interpretations for what SASE is and how it's defined. Um, several vendors provide their own what they call SASE solutions. So I'm just gonna boil this down to a few bullet points that you see here. Software defined wide area network or SD-WAN. Secure web gateway. So just a proxy server, right? Where a lot of you are used to now. Firewall as a service, cloud access security broker and zero trust network access. So we'll talk about 
each of these in detail, in greater detail at least. Let's start with the secure access, um, the secure access services edge here. Um, software, let's add, oh yeah, let's add SIG and DNS to this list as well, right? So let me just go back a slide and you had the list here. And then I added to that also DNS and, um, and SIG, which is Secure Internet Gateway as well. So um, SIG provides a lot more broad sweeping and deeper security than just Secure Web Gateway does. And DNS security is not within the definition of a Secure Web Gateway. 